What you doing? You know, just living the dream. <laughs> Juju has the right idea. That's what I feel like doing right now. Here's that kind of day. Oh, it's so yucky outside. Ooh. It's supposed to rain later and keep raining like the whole night <sighs> and into tomorrow. Okay, I have been on the computer the whole daggum day. So I am done. I am going to do some dishes and then get in a workout because I am so tired of just sitting down doing work. I just need to get off of my butt. crazy long dreary day so i'm trying to get in a workout even though i'm not really feeling it but i wanted to say i am always running out of music to listen to when i'm working out so if you have stuff that you like to listen to when you work out comment below and let me know that rhymes but let me know because i'm always looking for new music to listen to so let me know what you like to listen to when you work out. All right, I'm just unwinding a little bit watching the NFL draft. And I got to say, it's so weird having the the online draft. It's crazy. Like, it feels like, not that the draft has a whole lot of energy to it anyway, but it just feels so lackluster. I don't know. <laughs> this is just so weird. Anyway, it's it's day one of the draft. Um, by the time this video goes up, the draft will be over. So just comment below. Let me know what you think of how your team did. The Steelers haven't picked. Obviously, they don't have a first round pick this year, so they're not going to pick till tomorrow. But let me know how you think your team did, if you're happy, if you're disappointed, or anything you're thinking. so happy it's Friday and what's the weekend? Oh man, it's been an interesting week. I'm gonna be filming a makeup video today. So I'm going to actually do my hair today. I'm gonna be filming a date night makeup look. So maybe Daniel and I will end up actually having a date night tonight or I'll just be putting this makeup on for no reason other than the fact that I really like to do it and that's fine too. So I decided I'm going to curl my hair today. To do that, I'm gonna be using this curling wand from PYT. I don't even know if these are still available or being sold. I bought this at the mall on one of those standalone kiosk things. I got roped in to a demonstration <laughs> and ended up buying one. The nice thing is I bought this back in high school, senior year, and I've been using it ever since. So thankfully it did not turn out to be horrible. It does actually work. It works very well. So when I curl my hair with this, I don't have to spray my hair afterwards. I don't have to prep it with anything. The nice thing about this wand is I don't have to put hairspray in my hair when I'm done to hold the curls. They just, they stay in place and stay curly for, I mean, several days after I curl my hair. So normally I'll just go through, I'll curl all of the sections and then at the very end, I'll go back and I'll run my fingers through the curls just so that they're not like super tight. I do recommend this curling wand if they are still being made. I will try to find it on PYT's website if I can. All right, so that is one section of hair done. 
So I'll just leave them kind of tight like this. And then at the very end, when I'm done doing all the sections of my hair, I'll go back in with my hands and I will brush through and make them a little bit more wavy. The sectioning is the most attractive part of this. I mean, I feel like I could just leave it like this and just head out the door. Don't have anywhere to go, but this looks pretty good. All right, so I just finished curling all of the sections of my hair, looking a little Shirley Temple-ish. So now what I'm gonna do is just take my fingers and run them through the curls on both sides and loosen them up a little bit so that they're a little bit more wavy. There we go. The first day that I curl it, I will usually keep it down the whole day and then maybe the second day I might put it, you know, halfway up or pin a section of it back. Third day, I'll put it in like a curly high ponytail and then that's typically when I'll wash it and take the curls out, but they will look just like this for the next several days. So right now Daniel is on a Zoom call with the director of computer science at the university where he's taking his classes um, to get his next degree. He has had the most frustrating time with the professors that he's had. I am so proud of him for dealing with it without losing his head. That's what's happening currently. So I just finished filming a makeup video and it's about 6.45. Daniel's getting ready to film an exercise video downstairs. He's getting things ready down there. We haven't started cooking dinner yet. Uh, I've only had a bagel today, so I just ate some pita chips because I was starving. And I can't start cooking dinner because one of the ingredients for tonight's dinner, Daniel is using in his exercise video. So I can't start cooking dinner until his video is done. I'm finally making dinner. It is now, what time is it? Like seven. Like seven. Oh, JK, 7.38. Okay. So it's almost eight o'clock. Almost eight. I'm just starting to make dinner. I... NFL draft and dinner. It's have, Friday. I, I have a bout of silliness, I suppose. I suppose. And so I don't know, I was just dancing in the kitchen Friday, Friday. <laughs> when I forgot that I was going to find a knife, I forgot what I was doing, so I just decided to start dancing. I'm just slap happy. Slappy. And what was what was the duck thing that I did earlier? <laughs> what did I say? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. All right, so I'm about to put one of our favorite meals in the oven. We love it because it tastes delicious and it's super easy. It is literally just all of these roasted vegetables. So potatoes and onion with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and thyme, just like my mom makes. Um, chopped broccoli and sliced zucchini and sliced bell peppers. All of this gets roasted in the oven. The protein for it is this turkey kielbasa that we have. This is our favorite. Um, just slice it up. I'm gonna end up sauteing it in a pan real quick. It just needs to be heated up. It's already fully cooked. So all of the oven roasted vegetables and smoked sausage, and it is delicious. One of our favorite meals, like I said, and it's really easy. We have this a lot during the fall and winter time. It is delicious. All right, Steelers are up in two picks. We'll see. Household. Now we're joined by Junior and Senior and Mom Ernest. Here we go. We go to the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Come on, let's go. With the 49th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Chase Claypool. Wide receiver, Notre Dame. Okay. Oh. Okay. I like it. I like it. Steelers are always good at picking wide receivers, so watch out. All right, just a couple final thoughts before I go to bed. Firstly, the draft. So far, nothing has surprised me except... The Eagles taking Jalen Hurts. That was interesting. I think that'll be a good fit for them, considering Carson Wentz is hurt.
for usually 40% of the season. But that's been the only big surprise so far. B, it has been a super frustrating, like, oh my gosh, like two weeks, I guess, now. So my goal for tomorrow is to just find a way to relax, kind of detox a little bit. I found a recipe to make soft pretzels. So tomorrow might be pretzel day. <laughs> Does he just know that he... Oh, okay. <laughs> so I bought a grade book because I discovered through e-learning that online grading is not easier or more convenient for me. So for the first time in my short teaching career, just three years, I actually have a physical grade book. I've never needed one before. Their grades online are so hard to keep track of. So hopefully this will help. I think it will. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. All right, today I'm making some homemade pretzels. I found the recipe from sallysbakingaddiction.com. I'll link the recipe down below. It seems like it's gonna be super easy. It says it's only five ingredients. We'll see how it goes. If that's not a man right there, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's pretzel day. these out of the oven and they smell ridiculous oh my gosh i put cinnamon sugar on them so they're sweet pretzels and they smell awesome if only you could smell through the camera because smell a vision, smell -a -vision smell would be that. great okay i dug into one of these pretzels early because i really could not wait to try them because they smelled so good they are awesome oh my gosh it tastes I mean, this is like stupid, but they taste just like pretzels. I know. <laughs> but they're so good. They are. They're amazing. Like I bit into it, and just like you said, it sounds like it sounds crazy, but it tastes like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> like almost like any ends. Yeah. <gasps> it's really good. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am impressed, and this recipe is definitely a keeper. You may have gotten your mom's baking skills. Maybe. But I will definitely <laughs> link this recipe below. So if you enjoy pretzels or baking, definitely go try it, because this is awesome. All right, I do have to say though, the recipe advertises that it takes half an hour to make it from start to finish, and it definitely took me way longer than that. Now, if I make it a second time, which I probably will, um, it probably won't take as long because, you know, it's always a little bit slower doing it the first time. But just know that going in, it's going to definitely take more than half an hour the first time. Unless you're already an experienced baker, which I am not. So here is dinner for tonight. It looks amazing. This is the chicken mozzarella pasta recipe from Ree Drummond's Dinner Time Cookbook. This is the first time I've ever made this and I am so excited to eat it. Daniel chose to heat up some leftover chicken breast that we had. The recipe does call for chicken, obviously chicken mozzarella pasta, but there are a few variations and one of the variations was to not have any chicken. So I'm gonna have it without the chicken, but I am so excited to try this. It looks and smells incredible. That's the verdict. It is awesome. <laughs> Restaurant quality. Yeah. But super easy. Yeah. Not that I even made it, but. 
the herbs in it though. It's a lot of good food today. Yeah, I don't I know. even know how to describe it. It just, it has that restaurant taste to it. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to put it besides that. Yeah. Classic Italian restaurant taste. So good. All right, draft is officially over and I am pumped for how today went. The Steelers drafted not one, but two players from Maryland, which is awesome. I think both of them are going to turn out to be great players. Um, maybe not this year, but eventually I think they got a pretty good value. Comment down below and let me know what you think about the way your team drafted. If you feel like you got a steal of a player or if maybe your team reached or just anything else you thought was surprising about the draft. Definitely a weird one this year. But at least it's some kind of sports. Kind of. Ish. 364 days until the next pretzel day. So I made a cup of coffee this morning and I am going to have to dump it out because this happened. So I used this Starbucks white chocolate mocha creamer. It's a couple of days past its sell by date, oh, best by date, yeah. But usually creamer can go a little bit beyond its sell by date. This separation has happened a few times before when I've used this and made coffee, but not as bad as this. And I just, I don't wanna drink that. Um, so I'm gonna end up dumping this cup out, making a different one, and then this is just gonna go in the trash because clearly something's up. All right, attempt number two looks much better. I used the Coffee Mate caramel latte flavor, which we are almost out of, so we're gonna have to get some more creamer next time we go to the store. But now I can actually drink my coffee. <laughs> One of his favorite things to do, dump out all of his toys and just chew on the crate. Oh, buddy. Now that you've made a mess of the living room, you're gonna take a nap? Look at that. You could have at least Put your toys away. Nope, I'm just gonna sleep. You can do it for me. You're lucky you're cute. I'm about to get on my computer and check my email real quick. I'm gonna try just to see if there's anything urgent that might need my immediate attention, but I'm gonna really try not to get sucked into work. I was thinking about doing some grading today since I just got my grade book in yesterday, but I don't know. I might save that for during the week and just not do any work today, but we'll see. Today's lunch, last night's leftovers, and two forks. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I like it. Snuggle with mommy. <laughs> what? Yuck. Who is that puppy? Who is that puppy? Do you see yourself? I'm sitting in front of the heater in our office like I usually do when I'm cold. And since I'm sitting on the floor, he always comes up and snuggles. Oh my. You get a handsome guy. You're so handsome. So he came back and snuggled with mommy. Yeah. Okay, help me understand this. We keep ending up with a massive pile of dishes, okay? But all we do is cook a bunch and eat a bunch of food and never clean them. So I don't understand where these dishes are coming from. Also, our dog sheds a bunch and he doesn't pick up his own hair so I guess I'm gonna have to do that too.
have the cheesesteak sloppy joes tonight. And even though that's really easy, it's just more prep than I felt like doing today. So we are gonna have French toast and sausage instead. And I'm super excited because the sausage that we have tonight is the Brown and Serve brand sausage. It is my favorite kind of sausage. I'm so excited. My grandmother would always babysit me and my brothers in the summertime when we were young. And most days she got us Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. But on the days that she actually cooked breakfast for us, she would always make brown and serve sausage. So to this day, it is my favorite kind of sausage. Anytime I eat brown and serve, I always think of Nana and makes me happy. So I will eat brown and serve sausage tonight and think of her. <laughs> okay, so I spent like two or three hours today just like deep cleaning and reorganizing our kitchen a little bit. And oh my gosh, I am so happy with how this turned out. I just, I reorganized a few things to be a little bit more functional, like our now coffee corner over here. Just because we had like our mugs in one place, the coffee in the other, another place, and the actual coffee maker in a third place. So I just kind of all condensed it all into like the same area. So now it's just all together. But then there was just, there was some crud that had built up places that I needed to go in and clean. And it just feels... Very clean and bright and big. It feels bigger in here because I took, we had a bunch of stuff cluttering up the countertop like the Instant Pot and different appliances that were just taking up a bunch of space. And so I just reorganized some of that and it's a lot more functional now. So I'm pretty happy. So it was an all around pretty nice day. Even though I did a bunch of cleaning, it was a pretty relaxing day. I'm like so Monica now, but all around good day. NFL update. I was a little bit surprised that New Orleans signed Jameis Winston. That seems odd. We'll see. It'll be interesting. But anyway, I'm actually going to go sneak a little midnight snack and have one of these leftover pretzels that I made yesterday. The recipe said you only have about three days to eat them before they start getting stale. So... I guess I have to have one so they don't go bad. Darn. Anyway, all around great day and it caps off what's been a pretty nice weekend, to be honest. After the last week or so of craziness, it was a very chill weekend and hopefully this upcoming week isn't so bad, but we shall see. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.